I was exactly going to touch base on the CapEx plan because that seems to have missed um, the kind of targets that we were otherwise looking at, if I'm not wrong. Uh, with that said and done, uh, do you think uh, there is a minute chance? I think the company spent around 14,000 odd crore of CapEx during this entire financial year as compared to the plan of around 18,000 odd crore. With the export duty um, being imposed right now, we also spoke to multiple players like Arcelor, Mittal, Nippon, and Tata Steel. They said that they might want to go back to the drawing board and see how does the entire plan now look like, given the kind of domestic demand that they're witnessing here. What's your take on that? No, we already just completed a 5 million ton expansion. Another 5 million ton expansion is in advanced stage of implementation. We'll commission in the next financial year. So therefore, whatever is going on, we will continue to spend. Last year, we spent 15,000 crore capex. In this year, I'm giving a guidance of 20,000 crore capex. So we continue to spend uh, uh, on, on expanding capacities and also to create uh, downstream capacities. We continue to do that. So in this current financial year, if you look at it, 106 million ton of consumption of steel last year is expected to grow by 7.5% in this year. So incremental demand of nine, 8 million ton uh, that is going to come, JW Steel is in a much better shape with the uh, commissioning of uh, the 5 million ton expansion in Dolby to meet this uh, incremental demand in India. Over and above that, the measure of uh, imposing export duty on export of steel is only in my view is temporary. So if you recall in the year 2008, similar export duty was imposed uh, on export of steel. On flat products, it was prevalent only for one month. On long products, it was there for a few months. So once inflation comes under control, which is in everybody's interest, we also expect that the Indian government will, will lift the uh, restrictions today on export of uh, steel.